All right, and welcome to a new episode of Magic the Opening. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be opening up six packs of Dragon's Maze. So we got uh, two or uh, three different arts, uh, each depicting uh, the Maze Runners. Uh, one, two for uh, Selesnia, two for Izzet, and two for Boros. So let's uh, get opening. First we have a uh, Rakdos Drake, Tithe Drinker, Smelt Ward Gatekeepers, Steeple Rock, Mending Touch, Gruel Cluestone, Maze Sentinel, Pilfered Plans, Rakdos Cluestone, Battering Crassus, uh, Alive and Well. Rot Farm Skeleton, Bread for the Hunt, and Scion of Vitu Ghazi is the first rare. And then for our land, uh, all the lands in uh, Dragon Maze are the uh, Guild Gates. And we get a token, Knight. Alright. Let's get this in a little more in order here, I guess. Get the black there, red, green, white. No blue cards though. And land. Artifact, two clue stones. Alright, there we go. Alright. So, uh, Scion is not too bad. He's kind of a uh, the new version of Cloud Goat Ranger. So, uh, not bad. Alright. We'll get into the second pack here. We have a Maze Behemoth. He gives uh, multicolored creatures uh, trample. And just uh, six mana for five, four tramples. Not not bad for a limited. Mind Static, uh, a counter, four mana counter spell. Another Clue Stone, Riot Piker. Uh, Drown and Filth, removal spell. Ubal, Sar, Gatekeepers. Uh, this is one of the uh, Gatekeeper cycle. Or no. Yeah, Gatekeeper Cycle. If you own uh, two or more gates, it does something when it enters the battlefield. There's one for each color. Sinister Possession, Maze Glider, uh, Selesnya Clue Stone, Clear the Path. Uh, you don't see uh, destroy creatures on uh, for red very often, except uh, for with uh, well with, with this it destroys Defender. And back in the day, uh, red used to be good at. Uh, destroying walls, but you don't really see walls anymore, but now the Defender is kind of an updated version of the uh, red being able to destroy walls concept. Uh, Unflinching Courage is the uh, new Armadillo Cloak, uh, though I'm not a big fan of the uh, artwork on this, or the name really. Uh, Unflinching Courage does, sounds more like a spell rather than an enchantment, uh, but it's basically just a functional reprint of a uh, Armadillo Cloak, except Armadillo Cloak didn't have, you know, lifelink, where this does have the actual lifelink. Uh, live and well again, and another Rot Farm. Oh, we get another of the uh, Maze Runners. Uh, Var Rawls, the Scar Stripped. Uh, three mana 2-2 two, two that has a uh, regenerating is uh, pretty good. And giving all of your uh, creatures in your graveyard uh, scavenge is also pretty good. So he could see some play in... Uh, Maybe stand. I don't know. We'll see what standard what happens. But uh, I've heard people have said uh, maybe he can play. I uh, have see some play in maybe uh, modern or uh, legacy. I mean he's he's cheap enough and uh, his ability is pretty powerful. So all right, we'll toss that over there and then we get the gruel land and another card that isn't a token and just worthless. All right, next pack. This is our first uh, of the Is It packs. Alright, do so we get the uh, Golgari Cluestone, Beetleform Mage, Bane Alley Blackguard, uh, the Demir Cluestone. So we get a lot, uh, open quite a few Cluestones, and with the uh, Guild Gates in every pack, there's plenty of mana fixing going on here. Uh, Tithe Drinker, Crawl Warrior, uh, I like to see. Insect, or well, insect creatures uh, that are humanoid that like they're they're sort of the uh, 
like the Nantuku uh, tribe of insect creatures from uh, older sets. Uh, Zerta Druid is a good uh, limited card, adding mana and dealing damage for only two mana. It's good. Uh, populate uh, Wake of Reflections, a cheap uh, uh, populate spell. Uh, Windrake, which has been printed many, many times, another clear the path. Spike Jester, 3 1 haste for two mana is pretty good. He could see play in some constructed formats. Toil and Trouble, another uh, of the split cards. Crassus Incubation. And Dragon Shift is the rare, which uh, turns your creature into a 4 4 blue red dragon that loses all abilities and gains flying until end of turn. And for the Overload, which is a. Uh, Seven mana, it'll do it to all of your creatures. And then the Simic Guildgate, and another cruddy uh, non token card. Alright, go into the pack number four out of six. Alright, we get the uh, Riot Piker, uh, another, or the removal spell Drown and Filth, uh, another of the Gatekeeper Cycle, Clue Stone. For uh, Demir, Boros Mastiff, Undiscovered Clues with uh, Jace Bellerin in the art, Crypt Incursion, Deputy of Acquittals, which uh, is, uh, maybe you could see some uh, standard play, but uh, we'll see how it uh, turns out. There's a, a Flash Bant deck that maybe could use it. Uh, Riot Control, not that good. Restore the Peace. Maw of the Obsidat, which is one of my favorite arts uh, in this uh, set. Uh, just uh, a bunch of guys walking up the steps and walking to this uh, guy's stomach with that has teeth. Uh, War Leader's uh, Helix is uh, a, the new take on uh, Lightning Helix, which was in the original Ravnica block, which is one of the one of the more favorite burn spells uh, or spells in general in Magic history, which was uh, a one red and one white. And it would deal three damage to target creature or player, and you would gain three life. But uh, during the set development, uh, Wizards said that they weren't. Uh, they thought uh, Lightning Helix would be too good, especially with uh, Snapcaster Mage. So they decided to make it more expensive, and then you, you know, for two extra mana, you get an extra damage and extra life. But I don't think you'll see that much play. Uh, and the rare is Renounce the Guilds, uh, which two mana. Each player sacrifices a non or multicolored permanent, so you know, of course, if you're playing mono white, this would be a well, you wouldn't even have to be playing mono white as long as your permanents aren't uh, multicolored. So you could slip it into a multicolored deck as long as you have a uh, monocolored creatures, enchantments, whatnot. So this could see you know something. Ah, and a foil putrefy putrefy is a reprint of uh, from the original Ravnica block, however. Uh, this one has new art, and uh, I kind of like the the original art. Uh, had that uh, older, I don't know, this is style of mat or art you don't see as much anymore. But they reprint or they gave a new uh, art to this in a dual deck that they released uh, not long ago. The Is It versus Golgari, which I have a video for Magic the Opening episode for that as well. But uh, you'll see the art that was in that, and I like that one more than this. Though this this art is not bad by any means. Then we get the Selesnia Guildgate and a bird token. All right, so we'll open pack number five, and I'm gonna put the rare with the rares there. All right, so we have uh, undiscovered clues with the uh, Jace again. Uh, Rebel Belt Maka, which is a <laughs> interesting artwork where it's uh, it's this giant cat with six eyes. Uh, Viachino First Blood or First Blade, which is a it's a four four haste for three mana, but then it uh, well it's a two two, but it gets plus two plus two when it enters the battlefield. So you get one attack with it right away as a four four. Uh, Maze Behemoth, Hidden Strings, Punish the Enemy. Another uh, Deputy of Acquittals, another Clue Stone for Gruel. So we've had at least one Clue Stone for every pack, if not more. Well, yeah, we've had more than one per pack on average. All right, uh, Crypt Incursion, Opal Lake, another Gatekeeper. Uh, the Bronze Beak Moa is pretty neat. Uh, you don't see it, or 
it's this, uh, the, in the artwork is, uh, birds. Mo, Mao, Mao, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but it's, uh, depicts a type of bird that has been extinct for quite a while, to my understanding. But, uh, it can basically turn into a, uh, 5-5 five five whenever another creature enters the battlefield. So, at limited, this could be a very good card. Uh, Carnage Gladiator just has really awesome artwork. I, I like, uh, it just has some big, uh, skeleton, yeah, well, skeleton warrior, but a big skeleton giant covered in, uh, metal and blades and whatnot. Pretty neat. Uh, Turn and Burn is a pretty good, uh, pretty good card. Uh, it's already seeing standard play from what I've seen. And, uh, it basically will, will shrink down, or if you do both, the fuse mechanic, uh, turn will shrink them to an 0-1, and then burn will deal 2 damage to target creature or player. So you could use it as a combat trick to shrink and then eat uh, the, you know, the small creature that uh, you turn an opponent's creature into. And then you could burn, kill another, you know, kill another creature with the burn side, so you can 2 for 1, or you can just shrink something and then burn it. Therefore getting, you know, it's basically a destroy creature spell in a way. And then the rare is Emma Tandris, which was on the uh, artwork on the pack that we opened. And Amara Tandris uh, was originally going to be what uh, was Spirit of Resurgence, I think, the uh, the Mythic Rare for Selesnya. Uh, that was going to be Emma T Tandris, but they decided uh, that that was too good to be rare, and they decided the Maze Runners, which Emma or Amara is, is uh, was you know they had to be rare, not Mythic Rare, so they uh, ended up switching what Spirit of Resurgence was probably going to be. And uh, a lot of the Vorthos players or, or people who are uh, into the lore of magic or have not been very happy with uh, Mara Tandris as she's played a big part in uh, all of the Ravnica books and storyline. So the fact that she's a 5-7, seven, 7 mana, you know, elf shaman doesn't really make a lot of sense flavor-wise either. So, uh, you know, it's it's a... You could use it as a general, I suppose, but in uh, the commander format, but I don't know. A little disappointing on that one. Then we get the Orzhov Guildgate, another bird. So we'll go into the final pack. Alright, a Mind Static, a Mutant's Prey. The <laughs> artwork is very interesting. The mutant is very strange looking, just fighting a giant bug. Uh, another Gatekeeper of the Gatekeeper Cycle. Golgari Cluestone. Boy, I'm getting quite the collection of Cluestones. Alright, uh, Beetleform Mage. Bane Alley Blackguard. Windrake, again. Another Clear the Path. Fatal Fumes. Uh, Weapon Surge is a pretty good card. Especially, well, it could maybe see play and construct it, but uh, it's definitely a really good card for... Uh, Limit it uh, in draft. You want to pick it pretty high if you're in a draft. Uh, giving one own first strike for one red mana instant speed is a great combat trick. And overload, giving that ability to all of your creatures for only two mana is pretty good. Uh, Jalen, Jalen? Jalen Sphinx. You don't see a lot of uh, Sphinxes that are not rare. Uh, once in a while, I think Bell Tower Sphinx was the last, last time you've seen Sphinx that did that. But a... Uh, 5 mana for a 1-5 Flying Vigilance that uh, other attacking creatures get 1-1. One, one. Not, not terrible. Uh, Haunter of Night Vale. Spirit. Uh, Karazda Gorgon. Uh, Gorgon is uh, the fancy term for uh, like Medusa. Or well, that's what Medusa was, was a, was a Gorgon. Uh, and the Death Touch is a natural uh, Gorgon ability. And it's one of the few Gorgons that we see in this set. Uh, though the last Ravnica block had a good number of Gorgons. Again, all in uh, the Golgari set. Or Golgari uh, tribe. Or guild. Guild, that's what I should be saying. And the rare is uh, Catch and Release. This is a pretty good card. Uh, mostly people will play it for the catch side of the card. Uh, being able to gain control of a target permanent is a big deal. And for only 3 mana. So it's basically uh, like Threaten, which is a 3 mana 
uh, red spell, which has been popular for a long time, but uh, usually you don't steal. You're not able, or it's for stealing creatures for three mana. But uh, now that this is three mana, and you you know it's harder to cast with blue, but stealing a permanent is a big deal. And then we get the Demir Guildgate and a Knight. So there we have it. That's uh, six packs we've opened up. Again, uh, for the rares, we have Catch and Release, Amara, uh, Amara Tandris, Renounce the Guilds, Dragon Shift, uh, Varlaz, the Scar Strip. So we got two of the ten Maze Runners, and the Scion of Vitu Ghazi. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have more Magic the Openings in the future. Uh, subscribe if you want, and uh, have a good day.